What's up everybody? Man Cave Dave here in Michigan with a quick pickups video. Today is Sunday, April 10th. It was a beautiful day. Kids are out playing, hollering, dogs are barking. Still got a lot of snow on the ground and uh, got two grills going. We've got some bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers are just about ready for the sauce on top. Looks delicious. And I want to share with you all a pickup that I got probably about a month ago. Just had a chance to go through it. I need to finish processing it, but want to take a quick video before I do. So this was a childhood collection of somebody. One of my buddies had saw it on Facebook Marketplace about an hour from me and uh, gave me the heads up so I could go pick it up. Um, some awesome stuff here and some I'm ready to pass on to another collector. So we got a pterodrome. This stuff was up in the attic of a childhood home that was inherited. So um, some of it's got some damage to it, but I'm looking forward to cleaning this up. Some great boxes for the Night Raven and the Destro's Razorback and Dominator, the Conquest X30, the Jetpack, and then a pretty rough one on the Vindicator here. A whole bin of parts and pieces I still have to go through, a lot of paperwork, instructions. Thought these were neat, these uh, tattoos, which are pretty cool. Uh, some file cards. This is a little bit newer than the Joes I usually collect. I usually do the early 80s to maybe 85 or 86. A um, whole bunch of, uh, here we go, Keel Hall, a whole bunch of file cards, more parts and pieces of guys that haven't found yet, a Boglins mask, I thought that was pretty neat, maybe from a cereal box, and then the figures, here's Keel Hall, so a lot of these I hadn't seen before, just in my own personal collection, so I'll be adding these to it, and then trading off the ones that I already have, so lots of Awesome, this guy was kind of neat with all of his crazy accessories here. So, the other part of this is over here, and we have the USS flag. So again, not perfect. You can see some yellowing on top from being up in the attic. It has the microphone that doesn't work. It's missing the end cap. It's missing the fan rail um, and the mast cap up top. And the mast is actually broken, but otherwise it's, it's pretty complete. I think there's one piece in the Admiral's room that's missing as well. Um, we even have the y, uh, y pins and some of the desk or the, the deck clips. Uh, and then as far as other vehicles, we got a pretty rough Sky Striker um, and almost complete except for one drone cannon, uh, Night Raven, which I'm going to keep that. Uh, and then just some other random ones. I have a couple more um, blades for the helicopter, so we'll put those on there and get this out to somebody else. I'm probably going to keep this guy. That's pretty awesome. And uh, the Hiss 2, which I hadn't seen in person before. I'm going to keep that. That's pretty awesome. And then the Conquest X30. This one's a little bit rough, missing some parts, but I'm going to hang on to that since I have the box. And uh, I have one of these that, of course, these uh, blades are broken. So I think I'm going to clean this one up and hang on to this, get the parts I'm missing uh, for my other one, and have a little bit better one of those. Got some random Star Wars guys down here and a Ghostbuster, uh, He Man, and maybe Black Star, Thunderclap. And I've got a couple random uh, buckets here and some, some things over here that get some garbage bags and a box of garbage that I was sitting there and I looked in and I could see. I was trying not to be a creeper, but um, those of you who have come across these scores before, I looked down and I could see a missile and I was like, oh man, you know what? That, can I buy that bag of garbage from me? He's like, are you serious? You can just have it. I'm like, yeah, I think there's probably some G.I. Joe stuff in there. And uh, so I ended up giving him a little bit more for that. Uh, and then, let's see, over here we've got just some more random paperwork from all kinds of stuff, even old car books, uh, which was kind of neat. And then this is some more stuff. He, uh, those of you who grew up in the 80s like I did, it was a big time of space and shuttles and so there's all kinds of like random space shuttles and jets and that kind of stuff so he wanted a thousand dollars for everything which I gladly paid especially because there was a pterodrome and a flag and then I gave him an extra I want to say it was 70 bucks um, for the four bags of garbage and the Star Wars stuff and uh, He-Man um, I'm glad I did I found probably about a quart uh, worth of G.I. Joe guns and missiles and um, bric-a-brac um, from that. So I was pretty excited uh, to get that. So anyway, from here in Michigan, this is Man Cave Dave. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all at the next sale. Take care.